Hiding it won't multiply it. Matthew 25, 24 to 27. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, you wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. In this part of the parable, we see the sad situation of the third servant who received one talent but he did not do anything with that one talent. He went and he hid it. And he thought, you know, all I need to do was just hand back what I received back to my master. Maybe that's good enough. So on the day of reckoning, he just said, Master, you gave me one. I'm giving that one back to you. I've kept it safe. You know, I just, just didn't do anything with it. It's one, it's intact, and I'm giving it back to you. But that did not please the master. What was he? What was his expectation? The master wanted him to do something with that one talent. He wanted him to put it to use, put it to work, and, 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 and see some profit, see some increase, see some fruit coming out of what had been entrusted to him. But this servant says, he, the Bible says he was afraid because of fear. The master identified a couple of other things. He identified him as being lazy. That means he didn't want to work. He didn't want to put that extra effort. And he was wicked, unprofitable, base, debased. He didn't think wisely. Uh, he, he was corrupt in his thinking. So he was fearful. He was lazy. He was debased and he did not do anything with what was entrusted to him. And the master said, at least you should have handed it to the bank so that when you had got it, when you had recovered it, it would have come back to you with some interest, meaning at least do a very basic thing with what you've got. The basic thing you could have was to entrust to people who could have multiplied it for you with some amount of interest and given it back to you. You didn't even do that. You didn't even hand what was given to you to somebody else who could have multiplied it for you. Uh, so there is something here we, we must understand. Don't let fear, don't let laziness, and don't let foolishness cause you to hide your talent and not use what God has given you. As we said, God has entrusted each one of us with some amount of grace and some amount of gifts. God has blessed each one of us with something. But as we journey through life, we face all kinds of situations, uh, some not so good situations. We face people who might oppose us or hinder us and all kinds of situations. Now, how we react and respond may sometimes cause us to hold back on what God has given to us. Of course, there are people who might be jealous there are people who might say the wrong things. There might be people who might discourage us. Uh, there might be situations we go through that might be hard. But even through all of this, the important thing is for you and I to understand is, look, God has blessed me with certain gifts and certain grace. And I am accountable to God. And I'm not going to let these experiences cause me to hide my talent or cause me to bury my talent. Because remember, hiding your talent, burying it will not cause it to be fruitful. So you and I must rise up above these challenges, what people say, what difficulties we face and say, I'm gonna put the grace and the gift God has given me. I'm gonna put it to work. I know that if I use it, it will bear fruit. And that's what I want to see. I wanna be a fruitful and faithful servant so that the Lord will commend me for using what he has given to me. Remember, hiding your gifts and grace will not cause it to be fruitful. Put it to work. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will help us 
to rise above every discouragement, every uh, thing that would cause us to withdraw and hold back on the gifts and the grace you've given us. Help us, Lord, uh, to be wise, to be hardworking, to be able to put your talent, the, the, put the grace and the gifts you've given us to work. Let us not hide it, but let us use it for your honor, for your glory, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.